In this first example from the Transmission Network Tools, we will look at PV curves. The project should have study K05 Transmission Network Tools PV, active. The base scenario is used. PV curves are a useful tool for assessing the performance of a network under conditions of increased load, indicating how much the demand can be scaled and where the critical points in the network are. For critical bus bars, a plot can then be created of voltage against power. We will first run a load flow to check that there is a valid base case. In this example, automatic tapping of transformers and shunts will not be enabled. Balancing will be by distributed slack on synchronous machines. We now run a load flow. The Transmission Network Tools toolbar should be selected. This button is used to run the PV curves calculation. It is possible to scale loads across the whole network or select a set of loads to be scaled. It is also possible to record results for all bus bars or just the selection. In this case all loads will be scaled in the results for all bus bars stored. We press execute to start the calculation. In the output window, we can see the critical demand to which the loads have been scaled, and the critical bus bar is shown. A PV curve can now be plotted using this button. By default, a PV curve is plotted just for the critical bus bar. We press execute to create the plot. We can choose instead to plot curves for several bus bars. When this option is selected, bus bars can be added here. We will select all the bus bars in the northeast. Then the curves can be created. Returning to the PV curves calculation, it can be seen that it is also possible to consider contingencies when running the PV analysis. We follow the link to the contingency analysis container, where the contingencies can be specified, in this case all the bus bar faults in the northeast. Now the PV curves calculation can be repeated with the contingencies being considered.